Hello everybody, this is PJ and this is 30 day lead code challenge with PHP level difficulty easy and this is our last um, challenge sum of left leaves um, I've spent quite a bit of time um, on it, it was quite uh, difficult but today we have challenge number four, so let's shuffle and let's pick one. Uh, let's pick another challenge for today in PHP level difficulty easy. Okay, so what we have here is reformat date challenge. So given a date string in a form day month year where day is a set of first, second, third, uh, month is Jan, Feb, Mar, April, okay, and year is a range of uh, 1, uh, uh, 1900 to 2100. Create the date string to the format year, month, where year denotes the four digits year, four digits month, okay. Uh, yeah looks quite easy to me so let's uh, have a look i have a timer here so let's start the timer so let's see how long it's going to take uh, me to do it okay so right so what is the format of our date um okay 20th uh, I think we can easily just take uh, the number from it because there will be always a number at the beginning. Okay, so uh, the first thing I think what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna do is uh, just split this into three different pieces. So. Uh, I will call it date elements and now I'll split this date uh, into three elements and now what I can actually do is do something like day uh, is date element zero uh, month it will be date element one and year date element two I don't think we need to do anything with uh, the year uh, although it says it's within the range I'm not sure whether we need to check the range but I don't think so so let's leave it as it is uh, in terms of the day so what i will basically do i think what should be possible to do uh, is just to cast it to integer okay and that should convert this 26 or 6 or 20th to number to integer um, okay and then what else we need to do with a day um, is if it's less than zero so what we're gonna do is our day equals if day is less than 10 then uh, we will add like a leading zero in front of it uh, otherwise we'll just leave it as this uh, and here we said we're gonna leave it and then let's have a look at month what would be the best way to do it um, 
so one way one way we can do this and let's start from it uh, at the moment maybe we will uh, rectify or refactor rather the code later so let's uh, create an array of months mm. and this will be an array and what we're gonna do is just create like a, a associative array mm. there's probably better way of doing it but let's try this way first and then maybe we can mm, change it a little bit later but you know that's probably uh, quite common way uh, of doing these things and so let's do it that way and now uh, a month basically is gonna be well, actually what we can do is straight away here uh, try to get the month okay and what we need to do is gonna return yeah we're gonna return the string and our string uh, it's gonna be year then month and then day okay uh, let's have a look at the code first before we try to run it so we split the date into three elements then we create months array so we can convert uh, a month to a number uh, three four five six let's check the number zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve uh, so then we just cast uh, the day to integer uh, we need to check if that's gonna do work uh, hopefully it will and in addition to this we're adding little zero for numbers uh, that are less than 10 uh, we convert uh, the month from three letter word to a number and then here we just take because there's nothing we have to do with the uh, year so and we return it in the year month day format okay let's try to run it okay uh, we have an error basically there's column missing here so let's do it again uh, and then what we have here split okay I think there's an explode function split uh, probably in JavaScript so let's do it again okay and the solution has been accepted uh, so what's our test case our test case is case number first so let's try also with the second case that also works and then the third case okay that also works I would consider to be this to be uh, completed the only thing I would probably look at uh, changing maybe although I don't think there's anything wrong with it is how we convert uh, this uh, three letter string to a number maybe there's some kind of function date function to to do it uh, I don't know so there is actually uh, another uh, method that came to uh, my mind because we can probably try to uh, a function from so let's comment this for now uh, and another method could be really quite simple so what we can try doing is to just return date mm, in the format year month uh, day and, and we can use string to time PHP function 
and let's see if we can pass that and it will convert us to time and then convert to the desired format of the date so this could actually solve it uh, even in a much sort of simpler way let's try if that works yeah and that works let's yeah, another let's try all of these examples yeah okay let's try the last one okay so yeah as you can see we replaced quite a bit of code complicated code to pretty much a single line uh, and you know that solution didn't uh, come to my mind straight away you know I had to spend some time thinking about it and then this came to my mind but it's really quite simple so yeah this is how we can uh, uh, refactor the code we don't have to start uh, the solution um, we don't have to start with the right solution from the beginning we can try to do some thinking first and we've solved solution different way and then uh, refactor the code to much simpler code and it took us about it took me about 12 minutes which I think is okay uh, but you know probably could have done it much much quicker if this solution came to my mind uh, straight away but you know uh, it doesn't always work that way so yeah okay uh, I think that is it for that uh, challenge let's just uh, at the end submit it if it see it's gonna be if it's gonna be accepted yeah uh, it was accepted uh, as you can see it was uh, very quick faster than 100% of PHP online submission uh, and and it used memory me, mm, less memory, memory than 100% of online submissions for uh, the format date so I think that's uh, pretty good so I hope you've learned something and if you have another ideas or comments about uh, solving that problem let me know in the comments otherwise see you in the next uh, challenge bye bye